I hopefully that y'all are good. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about mental health, right? And we're talking about getting your mind right a lot of times, you know. And a lot of times, of course, that's hard. It's difficult, especially if you uh, if you're in like the tough stages of of actually mental health in itself. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and I'm talking about like the big time mental health stuff, you know. Um, but of course, you know, my focus was on the little stuff of mental health. You know, it's not little, but it's little, but it's not little, but it's little, but it's not little. You understand what I'm saying? Man, I hope so. But still, the fact remains, you know, you just got to get your mind right and, and 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 stay focused. A lot of times, you know, um, if you're struggling with depression, if you're struggling with anxiety, if you're struggling with uh, with all of that type of stuff, I, I do suggest that you get help, you find help immediately before it gets worse. Um, like I told y'all beforehand, I knew somebody that well, not not that I knew. Um, I worked with, I worked in a building. Um, and one lady was struggling with depression. Of course, I didn't know about it. Uh, but of course, uh, one lady was struggling with, um, um, uh, post, postpartum depression, right? Um, and I don't know how you can get help for that, but if you know somebody that's struggling with that, give them help, please. Um, and then of course, another lady, she knew about it, but she didn't really do nothing about it. Really didn't really say nothing to anybody. So, um... Uh, short story is the lady killed herself um, just because she just didn't have the help that she needed. Um, but still, regardless, though, you know, if you're struggling with depression, you're struggling with anxiety, you're struggling with all of that, you know, definitely get help for that. Definitely, definitely get help for that. All right. And another thing um, that goes along the lines of uh, mental health, you know, when we talked about trauma last time, we talked about trauma, which is really a big thing. Um, in life, you know, because we all we all have different areas of trauma that we just need to get get help with. You know, I was about to say get a check, but that's not the right word. Sometimes you gotta be you gotta be, you gotta be correct with your wording. You know, uh, otherwise you get the word police come after you. And I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> I ain't trying to do that. But um, yeah, last time we talked about trauma uh, and talked about getting help for that. Uh, and seeing a professional person for that, you know, because like I said, we all got trauma, we all got stuff in our lives that we just need to get down to the core and just really figure out and really deal with it, you know. Um, but today, real quick, I'll uh, kind of real quick, what the heck is that on my eye? I don't know, what's that? I don't know what that is. Um, but today, I want to talk to y'all about triggers, right? Triggers. Because we all, there's, there's some that, there's, there's, there's always something that just triggers people, you know? There's always something that just, that just triggers us in life. And, and the fact of the matter is, is, is the fact of the matter is, is that, um, when, 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 when a trigger happens, you, you either need to, you know, you, you have to know how to, um, how to, how to bring it to the table, you know, and let someone know what triggers them, you know, what triggers you in that moment so that they know not to do it because cause a trigger can snap you back into that depression, into that anxiety, into that that feeling where things are just not right, you know. Um, so you need to you need to get you need to figure out what you need to do in order to have that conversation with that person, you know. Of course, just talking to them, letting them know, like, listen, what you did, that triggered me, man. Triggered me bad and hard, okay? Um, and I think a lot of times, I think a lot of times dealing with mental health and stuff like that, I think that a lot of times people don't um, talk about certain things because they don't, they just don't, uh, they just don't want to bring up um, a lot of stuff that needs to be brought up, you know? Um, and especially when, especially when it comes to triggers. Especially when it comes to the time that um, that someone triggers you in a certain area, uh, or if they say something, you know. But I always think that it's important just to talk to somebody, you know, because like if if, if something's bothering you, if, or if something or someone, if, if if something is bothering you, you need to talk about it. Or if something that someone says or does is bothering you, 
um, and it doesn't sit right in your spirit, it doesn't sit right in your guts. I think that that's the point in time that you need to talk to that. You need to have that conversation with that person and let that person know, like, hey, listen, man, what you did, that treatment, me. What you said, that treatment. me, you know. Um, is, it, is it possible you could try maybe a different method or something like that, you know, and really, like, just, like, go through it, you know. I'm sorry. I had to take a phone call real quick. I'm sorry about that. That's what we're saying. You let people know how, how, how they're supposed to treat you. By either what you by either you telling them, and 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 you and you telling them what the right the right way to treat you, that's how that's how, that's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be something that's hidden. It's not supposed to be something that's secretive. It's not supposed to be something that because because the fact of the matter is that if somebody triggers you, um, you just and you're not telling them, you're just keeping that all inside of you. You're keeping that all inside of your bottom, your bottom that all up. And at, at the end of the day, when you start shaking the soda. So it goes everywhere once you open it, right? So fact of the matter is, is that if something triggers you, if you if you know that something triggers you, if you know that 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 somebody has put you in a place that you do not want to be in and that you should not be in, it's it's time for you to have those type type of conversations. It's time for you to have the conversation. And let them know, like, yo, listen, we need to talk. We need we 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 need to talk, you know, or even just let them know that. And just let them know in, in that in that in that moment, you know, and because it may be something so silly. It must be maybe something so silly, and you're just like, you know what, eh, whatever, I'll get over it. No. Talk to them about it. Talk to them about it. That's one of the best. That's one of the best ways to have therapy is to talk about something. Whether it's whether it's it's a therapist or not, whether it's a counselor or not. The best way, the best thing to do is always talk to someone about something. That's the best thing to do. Because once you start talking about something, you, you start to get freedom with that, you know? You start to get liberated. That's what you need to start doing, is having these conversations. And like I said, we as individuals, we sh and especially in the black community, we should not neglect... Seeking out a counselor, seeking out some, seeking out a therapist, someone that could that can help you along the way, that can help you through all the problems and all the difficulties that you that you that you did that you got to deal with, that you got to go through. You should be wanting to seek out somebody who can help you deal with what you need to be dealing, with, what you need to be dealing with. That's what that's 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 the better part about being healed, being healed, healthy. And 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 uh, healed, healed, healthy, and whole. Heal, healthy, and whole. Heal, healthy, and whole. And the only way you do that is by seeing people to talk about what's going on inside. That's the only way to do it. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get properly healed. You you start, you start to, you start to start to talk to talk about it. You know, it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be like moving a bandaid off of a, off of a cut. That, but that's how you do it. That's that's the way that you get. That's where you get healed. You start talking about something. You just start talking about the about about the nasty, deep, dark, dirty stuff in your life that's been going on, and you release that. That's how you get healed. How you get healthy is now repairing that, knowing how to repair that. Knowing how to 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 put yourself in a place in a, in, a, in a in a winning position, that that that's the healthy part. It's putting yourself in a winning position and living out living out your life in in that in that in that that sort of way. And the way that you get whole is just putting yourself together. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. You're going to constantly battle the triggers. You're going to constantly battle. Uh, the trauma is going to be there, but until you start to talk about it, you're you're, you're going to be you're going to be locked up in a prison that you put yourself in. You're going to be locked up in a prison that that you just don't really want to be in, but yet you're in it just because you're in it. Trust me, it's 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 a it's a it's a very liberating thing. Just to be healed, healthy, and whole.
you know, whether it's 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 whatever whatever it is, you got to learn how to be those three things: healed, healthy, and whole. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. And I'm telling y'all, if somebody triggers you in any sort of way, bring it up because otherwise you're going you're going to have non-military PTSD. And I think that that's one of that's probably like the second worst PTSD to have. Non-military PTSD. 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 Post traumatic PTSD. Post traumatic something disorder. Yeah. I, I I truly believe it's one of the worst ones to have. Well second worst one to have. You know, military one is really oh that's bad. That that's bad. Um, that that's bad. Like there's a lot of triggers, especially in the military, that comes up and it's just like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Um, uh, but of course the, the non military PTSD, that's the one that we that, that one that that we normally face, right? I'm uh, not normally face, but you know what I mean. Um, but one of the ways to get rid of it is to talk about it. Let the person know what you did that triggered me, man. Don't please I try not to do that again. You know? Um and another thing, if somebody tells you something that triggers them, or somebody tells you something about trauma that deals with their life, don't dismiss it. Embrace it, apologize for it, and 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 try not to do it again. That's the hardest part, right? Trying not to do it again. That's one of the hardest things to ever do. But you got to try to do that, you know? Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard, but you just got to do it. You just got to do it. You just have to do it. But, um, yeah. But that's all I got for y'all uh, on that whole mental health thing. Once again, I'm not a mental health expert. I'm not. I just give you my thoughts and opinions on on, on what I see day to day life, you know. And that's one of the best things too. Life lessons is one of the best things. I don't I don't I don't care what anybody says. Life lessons is one of the best things. That's how you learn anything. That's how you learn anything in life. It is by going through your life experiences and get, guarantee you 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 you're gonna have a lot. <laughs> you're gonna have a lot. Trust me. You. You are, but once you live your 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 best life that is healed, healthy, and whole, dude, you golden, you golden. So let's let's recap, right? Healed is talking to somebody, is removing that band aid, removing the scab, you know, scratch out the scab. That's how you get. That's how you get healed. It's removing the scab, removing the band-aid from that, from that, um, from your your heart, your 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 inner, your core. You're moving the band-aid a little bit. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be nasty. It's, it's, but you gotta do it. You have got to do it. That's how you get healed by talking things out. That's how. That's how. You, that's how you get healed by talking, by letting someone know. Like, listen. I ain't feeling that. You did that. I'm not feeling that. You know? Um, but talking to a licensed person. Not just your homie. Not just your friend. Not just uh, Tito from down the block. Not, not any Joe Schmo. But talking to a licensed person that can help you through this. Whether that would be... Whether that's, that's, whether that's counseling. Whether that's uh, a therapist. Whether that's someone that has a degree in how to handle all of this type of stuff, that's the type of person you need to be speaking to. So, that's healed. The way you get healthy is by absorbing the information and living out your best life. And is and is 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 working through it, is doing the process, is is going it's going through all of the Going through all the motions, going through, going through all, all the all the pain, going through it. 
and the way you be whole is 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 keep your eyes straight on the path and just keep on going on life and living your greatest life y'all listen if, if you ever need someone to talk to that's non-licensed come talk to me message me send, send me send me a message uh I have uh, my emails up, everything. Send me an email. Send me whatever. I'm not licensed. I'll tell you, I'm not licensed, okay? So don't think I am. I'm just a regular guy doing regular things, okay? I'm just trying to make it in this world, okay? That's all I'm going to tell y'all. But send me a message. Send me whatever. You, if, you ever, if you ever want to talk, if you ever need someone to talk to, if you need a pen pal or something like that, you could, you could go ahead and message me. It's all right. But, for real, for real, um, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, Saturday's motivation, I think we're going to start doing some dating videos. And it may be a little bit funny. Um, so don't, oh, don't, 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 don't take it too serious, alright? Um, but yeah, we're going to start doing some dating advice and stuff like that. Um, uh, T-shirts are available, any color, any size, you let us know. And we got you. We got you. We got you. We send it your way. Well, you got to pay, of course, but they will send it your way. Um, any color, any size, red, black, gray, white, blue. Uh, so let me know. Let me know what your color is. Let me know what your size is. And when I say what your color is, I mean the shirt. Not. Anyway. Um, yeah. It's Perkins Talks. So Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what we do. Y'all already know. We are living our best life out here. Go ahead and go do it. Go ahead and go conquer it. It's Perkins Talks. I'll see y'all next time.